Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today, I figured I would go over another recommendation of my Discord server that was given a few days ago about side quests, but before that, you know what time it is. It's time to hit that sub button, right? Because uh, as I mentioned in the last few videos, my goal is to hit 4,000 by the end of the year. At the rate we're going, we're going to hit it like in the beginning of December. So you guys are fantastic. Uh, make sure to hit that sub button. Only like 30% of you or whatever are subscribed. Uh, let's move on to the actual video. Don't want to dilly dally, you know, move on to the meat and potatoes of the video. And that is side quests. Now, I've talked about side quests a lot in the past. You know, are they worth doing? Whatever, whatnot. I personally really like side quests. I've always really liked side quests. I think they're a fun addition to the game. And genuinely, I've always really liked doing side quests. Like, the last few characters, I've done every side quest in Mushu. I do almost every side quest in Marleybone. All of my favorite worlds, I do most of the side quests in, just to stay a little bit ahead of the curve in regards to level. But today, I wanted to talk about what I think side quests need in this game. Something that side quests really could do with and really need right now to make them actually worth doing, because a lot of people don't really like doing side quests, and I think the reason for that is, is that a lot of them just aren't worth doing in regards to time, in regards to effort, and I had a few ideas of how to fix that and make side quests a little bit better, in my opinion. So, first off, let's start with uh, what I think, which is XP isn't really the focus of side quests here. I think... Right now, side quests don't need more XP. They're fine as they are. You can already get very, very overleveled if you do side quests, like every side quest in the world. And XP isn't necessarily the focus. I'm pretty sure right now, if you did every side quest, you could reach 140 in like probably Mirage, maybe, if you tried, which obviously not a lot of people would do, but it's an option, right? And I don't think that side quests genuinely need experience at this point. I think that the side quests that they've been doing um, are pretty good in regards to XP. But what I do think needs reworked is the actual drops of the side quests. And I'm gonna flip the, split this into two separate sections on how I think that they could uh, go into this. First being Spellaments, and second being Gear. So let's talk about Spellaments and the Spellament idea that uh, has been kind of floating around. I think it would be really, really good and really, really beneficial for this game to incorporate Spellaments into side quests in the earlier game. I think that right now there isn't a major way to get Spellaments, and one of the ways I know that they talked about it while uh, I did the KI Roundtable was that they wanted to actually potentially incorporate them into some side quests, similar to the Caramel and Lemuria system, where you gain a spellament for every main quest you do, and then side quests give you two spellaments for your school spell, which is how you upgrade it here. You can see like you have snack attack for death that you can upgrade. That's the, ma uh, the main way to upgrade it is through doing side quests. I think it would be really, really cool if they incorporated earlier game spell myths into that as well. This would double as a reason for A, actually doing side quests, and B, a way to get spell elements, which is sorely needed right now. Spell elements have been neglected for a very long time in regards to acquisition, and I think that King's Hell is looking for a way to do that. I think side quests are the perfect way to do it. It gives people a reason to go back to the earlier worlds and do the earlier game again, and on top of that, it gives them a way to actually flesh out the spell of its system. Now, in regards to the second thing that I think side quests need is actual gear drops. Now, a lot of main areas in this game, main gear drop areas, are from side quests, right? You have Mount Olympus, which is a side quest area. You have Bargain Palace, that's a side quest area. You have Waterworks, Darkmoor, and the Catacombs, all side quests. But I think a lot of the other side quests and side dungeons really need a rework of their gear. And this kind of goes in with a gear audit, but I think that a lot of the side dungeons in this game don't really have good gear that's beneficial enough to the point where you should go farm them. For example, if you have the full set of Zeus gear, what's the point in doing Barkingham Palace? You can wait and not get the Zeus gear and then get the Barkingham Palace gear, but at that point, you're going to have Waterworks in, at level 60 anyway. But one thing I really want to focus on is between level 60 and 100. I think there should at least be a gear set that's an, a viable option every 10 levels, but I think that there's definitely should be substantial upgrades between those gear sets every 20. So 
for example, we have um, the level 30 Zeus gear, level 60 Waterworks. That's like a pretty good spacing out. But I definitely think that this game could do with like upgrading the Tartarus gear or adding a dungeon at level 80 that actually has good side gear. Because I think that doing it so that you use Waterworks gear and then use that all the way up to level 100, I think definitely leaves a lot to be desired. And it gives real no reason to do side quests like Atlantia or Tartarus beyond um, the Athame uh, from Tartarus, but realistically, you don't even need to do the full side quest there. You can literally just do Cronus. I think they could definitely focus on that more and add different gear drops to each of those side quests and add different improved gear to certain side quests. This could be done for like a level 120 dungeon as well. I don't know exactly what one yet, but obviously I'm just saying that they could add different gear drops to certain side quests. Another thing that goes along the line line of gear is actually stitches and I think that this game really is in a sore need of introducing some new stitches because I think that a lot of stitches are basic and a lot of the cooler looking gear is from packs I think it would be really really good and a quite a decent idea for them to add some new gear to the early game like especially with the gear audit and side quests to actually have new stitches that you can use. I think a lot of the early game stitches either look pretty bad or they aren't acquired through the means of like side quests or side dungeons. And I think that that's really a mistake that they should fix the side quests. I think if they added new stitches to it, it would be pretty sick overall. So now that I've gone over the main points of this video, I can't really think of anything else that they could do to make side quests more worth it besides really adding stuff like that. But um, I think that spell elements and gear would definitely change them for the better. But how would this implement look? Like what would they do? Is this viable of an option? Because I feel like that's an important question to ask after going over all that. Is this a viable option? Well, I think for the gear, it's a lot of time and effort that they don't necessarily need to put in. I think definitely King's Isle would be willing to rework the gear in a gear audit, but I don't know how much they would actually go for like different stitches and reworking the look of the gear. I feel like that's not something that's on their uh, highest of priority lists right now, but I think that definitely a gear audit, we could see different gear sets becoming more valuable than others. And a lot of those are going to be acquired through side quests. In regards to spell elements, I think that this is a very viable option, and I think it's possibly a very likely one we're going to see in the future. Maybe we're not going to see necessarily like every single side quest in Wizard City or Krakatopia or whatever drop spell elements, but definitely we could see quite a few side quests that give us areas that drop spell elements or bosses that drop spell elements. I think that they're, they're very likely options for how King's Isle wants to do this because King's Isle definitely said in the round table and we know for a fact they want to implement spell elements in a more easily acquirable way they don't want you to have to wait until like level 140 150 to actually get rank one spell elements they want that to be a viable option at a lower level so i definitely think they would implement this in uh the future is actually having side quests drop some spell elements when would they do this to give a timeline i think the gear audit is probably going to be sometime in the spring or summer i don't know I, I imagine it would be in the spring but if they need longer it would be next summer but reworking the spell elements is probably one of their top priorities right now because they definitely want to show us that the spell elements are in the work and they're looking at fixing it ultimately i would say expect something along these lines of changing side quests to be worth it sometime in the spring and summer but that's really it for today that's all i wanted to go over was how i think they could make side quests more worth it in this game let me know if you agree disagree do you think that gear needs changing i think that that's an important question to ask like do you think gear needs changing or do you like the current system they have where every 30 levels or so we go get a new major gear set and use that until the next one pops up do you like that or would it be cool to mix and match i personally prefer the mix and match option like i think it would be cool if i could have like one piece of barking and palace gear one piece of zeus gear and then like another side dungeon something like that so I don't need to purely focus on one. Let me know what you think. Uh, but otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe. Go support me financially on Patreon and join my Discord server where you can leave video ideas if you wish. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.